Hey everybody, it's Larry, Wes, and Mike with another virtual edition of Three Things. Wes, what do you have today? Well, Larry, we made it. The virtual off-season program is almost over. Uh, what an off-season this has been for the Green Bay Packers trying to adjust to all this. We've obviously heard what Matt LaFleur has said about it. Last week, we actually had the chance to talk to Luke Getze, the Packers quarterbacks coach and passing game coordinator. And he had one of the more unique jobs this off-season amongst the Packers coaching staffs. Not only did he have to prepare, prepare, excuse me, easy for me to say, Aaron Rodgers to be, you know, the starting quarterback of this team. He suddenly has a first round pick in Jordan Love that he's tasked with developing and a third year veteran in Tim Boyle. Now, Getze has been really creative in the past with how he's approached, you know, his mentorship of players. And this really tested it. He mentioned how much he enjoyed it, how it really challenged him to be, showed him he's more of a visual learner. And at the end of the day, trying to get these guys ready for the end of July, it was a learning experience for everybody, including the Packers QB coach. Thank you, Wes. And Mike, what is your thing? Well, last week, we also got a chance to talk to new defensive backs coach, Jerry Gray. And I'm really interested to see, Larry, what Gray can do with a very young Packers secondary. Now, Jerry Gray he played in the NFL for nine years, went to four consecutive Pro Bowls. He's been a coach in the NFL now for a, a, about two dozen years. This Packers secondary on the current 90-man roster, there are only two defensive backs who have been in the league longer than three years. And those are Adrian Amos and Will Redmond, who are not exactly grizzled veterans. But if you look at all these young guys, Kevin King, Jair Alexander, Chandon Sullivan, Darnell Savage, Josh Jackson, Kadar Holman. A guy like Jerry Gray, his playing experience, his coaching experience, what he might be able to bring to this unit, I think it's going to be an interesting story to watch. Thank you, Mike. Folks, one of those steps along the way that says a coach has a mystical end. You know how, for all intents and purposes, Matt LaFleur ended the off-season program he brought in Charles Woodson to speak to the team. Now, Charles, if you'll recall, came up with one mind, one heartbeat, one purpose, one goal off the cuff after the NFC Championship game in Chicago. So you know his talk was impactful. And you look at the big picture. It's been a long, difficult offseason on a lot of different levels. So how does Matt send the troops off into summer on a positive note? In the right frame of mind, he brings in a certain Hall of Famer with something to say. Like I said at the top, one of those steps along the way that says a coach has the mystical end. Anything for the good of the whole, gentlemen. Well, Larry, I would like to end this quickly to a shout out for Frank Lamping, the Packers fan Hall of Famer. Frank, one of the good guys in this business. I know you've met a lot of fans over the years, Larry. I've not met as many, but he is one of the most genuine human beings you'll ever meet. You could ask anybody on our video staff, did some phenomenal work with him on a Packers life. But Frank has been battling prostate cancer stage four for the past seven years. He's working through some tough times right now down in Union Grove, but they held a parade for him last weekend to celebrate him. Our hearts are with you, Frank and Andy. We continue to think about you and one of the all-time good guys in Packers history, even if he wasn't on the field. All the best to Frank. God bless. And that is Three Guys with Three Things. See you next time, whenever that is.